Okay, so today what we're doing is we're checking out the last chills video. Does this place give you anxiety? Not really. YouTuber Silent Jill and her team visit the place and the ghosts. More random question. Does this place you've never been to give you anxiety? You'll have to give me a reason for it to give me anxiety. Is Chills about to give me that reason? Here are spelling things out for them. Uh, on doit la rassurer et en tout cas lui dire qu'on est ici évidemment uh, en toute bienveillance quoi. The device continues to spell. I'm not sure if this device is meant to do this or if this is unusual behavior. I'm thinking the latter, as the team seems surprised. What the? As they continue to explore the manor, they hear movement. They think it was a dog, but was it? Later, they attempt to communicate with the spirits when the unexpected happens. Do they not look to see if there is a dog in the property then, or are they referring to it as like a spectral dog? It appears that something moves nearby, but it's hard to tell what, and then pure chaos ensues. Here it is from another angle. What happened here? Is it paranormal? It looks like it to me. Everything mm, could be. Could be. Can't really make out what the hell's going on like and what caused them to freak out, but it could be paranormal, but then when there's a bit of chaos like that, it could still have just been left uneven, so it was rolling, but it looked like it had come to a stop and then moved, so maybe it could be like a, a really fluky piece of paranormal. Just based off this clip, it doesn't look like they particularly try to fake stuff and all seems pretty genuine but god knows i don't even know what they're reacting to so could be thing seems to be moving unnaturally and i believe that lamp was pushed over by something we cannot see what lingers in homes that are abandoned youtuber indiana phrase left a i'll tell you what lingers in houses that are abandoned spiders I had so many spiders in my house because it had been empty for about six months before i moved in Ugh. Creepy little fuckers. Camera in an abandoned house just to see. Here's what he captured. Wow, we've captured a mouse. Oh, right. Looks like a mouse. Okay, that was... You know what, before we carry on, if Chill says that something terrified the mouse and it ran off because of something paranormal, I, I, I don't even know. That's what he's going to do, isn't it? Right, we've literally just watched a mouse and now we're going to try and make it out to be paranormal. He's going to do it, isn't he? He is so going to do it. It's obviously a mouse, but what is this? In my opinion... It looks like a demonic creature just pretending to be an animal. No, God, please, no, no, no. It's a ferret or a weasel or something. Maybe even a baby raccoon. I don't know wherever this is, but its eyes are just reflecting off the camera. It's not a demonic animal. The, the mouse had... Gleaming eyes just a moment ago. So how can you say that this is demonic, but not the mouse with the equally gleaming eyes? 
but he concludes that it is, in fact, a weasel. Yeah, see, told you, weasel. Well, these steady cams didn't capture any poltergeist activity or shadow people. That image of the mutant weasel is going to haunt my dream. Bruh. The mutant weasel. What the fuck? The mutant. Man. Stop it. Get some help. It's a mouse got scared off by a weasel. A mutant weasel. What the fuck? My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're only on 19. These are gonna get worse, aren't they? And I've decided that I want to die. Oh, chills, man. I used to love this channel. It used to scare me. Not anymore. Dreams. Oh no, look at that terrifying mutant weasel. Could you live with a poltergeist? YouTube channel, The Real Texas Ghost Hunters, shares this video posted by The Wind Call. Watch closely. Did you miss it? Here it is again, up close. The way they move, it looks like they've just been, like a spring has been set, maybe. They've got a very springy kind of motion to them. Like when you, like say for example, if I chucked this, it would just kind of spin and just go. It doesn't kind of spring up in a weird motion, unless it had like a spring on the bottom. You know, like the clicker that has that same kind of motion when you used to press it and try fire off your pen, which was never very successful. I feel like this is set up, it's staged. That's a knife flying off the coffee. Then again, because it's a knife, I thought it was a pen. Mm. I still feel like this is staged. Table, followed by another object being ejected. There's more activity in the kitchen. Watch the fridge. And then, in the sitting room... I don't know. It could be real. It's weird that things keep flipping about. See, when you see a camera set up like this, and it's just stationary, part of me is a bit like, why have you set the camera up and it's not really doing anything? But then I suppose if he kept on coming in and finding a room was messy because things had gone flipping everywhere, you would, you know, set up camera, see what the hell was going on. I, I kind of get it. Part of me wonders how genuine it is, though. It's convenient, say, for example, the kitchen one where it's framed enough that you can see the fridge and the counter where stuff starts happening. It's the real deal. Looks like a legit poltergeist to me, and it seems to be at work all over the house. There's nowhere to hide. While filming a horror movie, YouTuber Master Gala captures something unusual on camera. Watch to the left of his right shoulder. Sabi niya, Master Gala, legit po talaga mga vlogs nyo. Gala, legit po talaga. Here it is again, slower this time. Gala, legit po talaga. You know what? At first, I thought that was something weird, but I think it was like on the third view, it clearly had wings and was just a bird. Was that your odd bat letting loose in this haunted home? A moment later, it's just a bird or a bat or something, some flying creature. Although I am excited to hear what Charles thinks it is. Strange chime twice. The sal, sa mga ginagawa natin. Ay, sa mga ginagawa natin. Ay.
What is it? I'm not so sure, but my theory is the clock has struck midnight and the bat we just saw has turned into a vampire. It's now. Jesus Christ, that's awful! <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Wow, he goes from extremes, man. I mean, I froze it on the screen there. It's clearly a winged creature, but obviously it's about to turn into a vampire because, you know, that happens all the time. A bat in a random house just happens to be the next Dracula. I know he's got to ham up these videos a bit, but... Bro. Now on the hunt, so watch your knack. This secret ghost fort is home to the spirits that now reside here. YouTuber Simply Sereth and his team visit the place, and they're immediately met with some phantom wailing. That does sound weird, but uh, I, I don't know what the local wildlife in that area sounds like, but it could be just like an owl or something up in the ro like roof. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that figure? At first, I thought it could be a statue, as it doesn't appear to move at all. That is, until they continue forward and see this. And a moment later, this. Something is watching them. Okay, that's a bit weird. However, that last one, it does look like it's probably just a statue. And they may have just caught it from like different angles, maybe. Because it's in the center of a room. If it's not, though, like, there's something there with you. Better get your ass out. It appears to be a robed demon of some kind. And it turns out this demon is a... See, I can't tell if that's the exact same spot. Right, so you got this circular bit above it. It's almost like it's in an arch or a doorway. Aggressive. Oh shit, it's a doorway. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not there then. Okay, that might be genuine. They again capture the robed figure making its way in the darkness. Thank you. Nah. And things. That was definitely a person moving then. Whether it's paranormal is questionable. They could have just paid somebody to keep moving around in there in a robe. Let's keep growing more and more terrifying. <laughs> Whatever evil is here is now welcoming them in. Did I just see another person in the doorway then? Moved around a lot, like quite fast. Unma shanti dia na kandi pa udah yu punu. Ille unma shanti dia meri nu ninggal sepati na. Good, very good. And they are following it. Here's the thing, right? They are literally right, and like it's a bit fifty-fifty here because they're right next to the door. It's just opened. Why have they not gone straight in there with the camera to prove there's nobody or nothing there? But on the flip side, there's also the possibility that a real person could be on the other end there. So mm, I suppose that's the price you pay as a paranormal investigator, though, isn't it? You know, you accept accept the risks. Or is it following them? It's hard to tell who's following who. But I think the demon is one step ahead of the humans at all times. The Doris house is a disaster zone. YouTuber Ali H is dealing with an angry spirit in this haunted home. And it starts off with something subtle. Ali's flashlight malfunctioning. You know, if you guys missed the last video, I think you guys just saw live flashlight turn off every single time we're on this premise. This video just freaked me out. Because with these headphones in, 
I just heard something like fall on this video and I thought it was something here in my room falling by my feet. You know, I, I'm going to give Chills credit there because the scariest thing I've found in this video so far is something falling. I'm sorry. Is that a bit of a dick? Uh, you guys can hear the click it makes when the flashlight turns on or off. Ali then sees something move on its own. <laughs> I don't feel like that was thrown. I feel like they knocked it, maybe. There's that much shit all over the floor. You could knock anything over in it. It'd sound like it had been thrown. As Ali starts talking with the spirit here, it answers back via knocks. Last time I was here, you were throwing stuff at me again. I don't want, uh, I don't want that again. You know, I would like to just for us to be able to have a proper conversation. Who's walking with me? He continues through the place and believes he sees something in the next room. As he walks toward it, the door moves. <laughs> what is lurking in the Doris house? Demon or... I feel like I completely messed that. Don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. I was too distracted by all the clutter and the mess. My partner would absolutely lose her shit in that room. She'd go into a meltdown. She'd have a panic attack and everything. Being surrounded by all that mess. Dare say she'd give it a right good go try and clean it though. Just a grumpy ghost. Encountering either would be a pass for me. Is this the work of a poltergeist? Or are these guys scaring themselves? YouTube team into the unknown paranormal shares footage of an investigation in Did his iPad just fall off a puff or side of the sofa then? I don't think that's paranormal. That happens in my house all the time. You know why? Because I don't pay attention and I'm clumsy and I knock things and I don't put things on the side properly. Inside a haunted home and apparently the spirit doesn't like modern technology. I Oh my god, it's... Bro, it's f***ing wet. Bro, it's For fuck's sake, man. It's just, it's already balancing on there. It's not even flat. The arms of my chair are slightly downwards at the front. I don't think they were originally like that, but because they're sitting on them and stuff, it's slightly like that. So then you go and take something like your phone or your iPad and you put it on there and it's got this kind of wiggle room here. The slightest amount of touch and this is going to eventually give way. It happens all the time. That is not paranormal. It looks like a, a tablet or an iPad as well. And like literally, I'm surprised mine isn't broken from the amount of times that I've not put it on a, on a level surface and it's just gone. <sighs> What's scary is that everybody's freaking out from it. What the f bro? Something pushes the iPad off of the sofa. According to the guys, it's not even... You can see the bend. It's not even slightly flat. It's bent on... It's a round arm of a chair. And then it's round on the edge as well. And you put something not even fully on it. It's got like so many different ways that it's gravity is going to pull it down. Like, don't get me wrong, I believe in the paranormal, but stuff like this pisses me off because it's just grasping at straws. Like, debunk it. You don't even have to be like a physicist or a scientist or anything like that just to use common sense. And believe me, it's a strong thing coming from me about common sense because. I'm dumb as shit at times. But come on, man. That was not paranormal. I first... Look at that. Look at this. See this rounded bit here? That's not even flat. It's off, hanging off. Thought that the leg of the guy lying on the floor may have nudged the iPad. 
I look <laughs> he doesn't need to have nudged if he's just moving on the floor, if they've got floorboards, laminate flooring, just the tiniest movement to create a slight nudge in that, and it, it's going. I look but upon closer inspection, it looks like he's too far away for that to have happened. I still think it could have been the iPad's precarious placement on the arm of the sofa along with natural... Exactly. Look how much it's hanging off. The slightest breeze would knock that off. At least Chills isn't coming up with a story about, you know, a, a radioactive flamingo coming in and waving its wing and knocking it off or something. Vibrations of the movement in the room. <laughs> but considering this is the second time this occurred, I also think it could be a tech wary ghost or someone doesn't learn to stop putting the iPad on the arm of the bloody chair. What is waiting for YouTuber Amitav Paranormal in Tingua Cemetery? I don't know, Chills, tell me. Muitas sepulturas, né? São, foram destruídas mesmo, quebradas, tudo. É... É assim. Upon entering, the crew gets a very heavy feeling. As they examine the offerings, the heaviness grows. Amitav says they feel pain in their bodies. They find what could be a human bone on the ground. Are you not allowed to show bones? Because that, that bone looks pure white. That could be like a dog bone or anything. But regardless, are you, are you not allowed to show bones? They also find a vulture, which they suggest might have use in dark magic. Wow. As they continue to look through the graves, they all hear something at once. Okay, so we didn't capture it on film. Everybody's just saying they heard it. Okay, I thought they were about to show me something cool then. Foi. Aqui, desse lado e do outro lado, você vê. Is something watching them? I do feel the heavy feeling they're feeling here too. And I'm worried that it's the mysterious dark magic taking over through my screen. <laughs> what are you saying? Do you When he makes these videos and he reads out these scripts, does he not at any point go, that's kind of corny. I can't feel the dark magic coming through the screen, but I can't feel the cringe. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. There'll be links below how you can tell me about your paranormal experiences.